Hey everyone, Titan Connix here with another new video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Serato DJ version 1.8 and some of its new features, which include key analysis in the offline player, key shifting plus or minus 12 semitones, as well as key syncing between the decks so your mixes will always be harmonically compatible. And lastly, we're going to take a look at remapping buttons and knobs on your native Serato DJ controller to other functions. So first, let's start in the offline player where you now can analyze the key of your tracks. If you click the drop down right next to the Analyze Files button, you'll have a new checkbox to set the key of your tracks when you analyze your files. So obviously, if you never keyed your tracks before, this means you're going to have to reanalyze your entire library if you want to get the key of your tracks, which kind of sucks, I know, and kind of a daunting task, but luckily, uh, you can uncheck the Set BPM box and just analyze the key of your tracks. So that should speed things up uh, significantly. Obviously, when you're adding fresh new files, though, you're obviously going to want to have both set if you want to get the BPM and the key of your tracks. So I've already went through and analyzed these files. So let's add the key column over here from the dropdown. So you notice the keys are displayed in color. So you have a nice rainbow assortment of colors. If we sort by the key column, that will group them together, obviously. And you may notice that the key is displayed in classical key format notation. That's what this ABM means, EBM, for E flat minor, A flat minor. Now I'm sure the majority of you are pretty familiar with mixed in key and its Camelot system. That is the 1A, 2A, 3A. I'm sure you've seen this image before. This is the Camelot wheel or the circle of fifths wheel. Luckily, you can change the display of the key. I'm sure the majority are going to want to use Camelot. So if we go into the setup menu under library and display, Show key as, so we have a drop down to select Camelot, like so. So you can have your Camelot system as well. There's also the open key format notation, which is kind of similar to Camelot. Looks like the values are shifted though, and they use a M and D instead of A and B. Lastly, if you don't want to use Serato's key analysis and, can, and you want to continue using mixed and key or key finder or some other program, Make sure you select original tag and that will just display whatever is currently written to the tag. I'm going to be using Serato from now on though and I like Camelot so that's what I'm going to select. And that's all there really is to key analysis. So let's take a look at shifting keys now plus or minus 12 semitones as well as key syncing between the decks so your tracks will always be harmonically compatible when you're mixing. Alright now that we have a track loaded to a deck in Serato DJ let's take a listen to key shifting plus or minus 12 semitones. Now you'll notice here on the track on the left deck, here is its key displayed right here, 1A. These little arrow keys to the left and right are going to be how you shift up or down semitones. And this little grayed out music note icon box we'll get into in just a moment. This is the key sync button between the decks. So let's just take a listen to it and we'll shift down 12 semitones and we'll shift up 12 semitones. Alright, so that was going down 12 on my tones. Let's go up 12 on my tones now. And that's all there really is to key shifting. Now what gets interesting though is syncing, key syncing two tracks when you're mixing. So your, your mixes will always be harmonically compatible. So let's load this track to the right deck. And you'll notice that this track on the right deck has a key of 7A. Which is pretty far away from a key of 1A. So theoretically let's say this track on the left deck is playing to the audience. So we're going to be mixing in the track on the right deck. If we click the music note icon box to key sync it, you'll notice that it shifts the track just plus one semitone, and its new key is 2A, which is harmonically compatible with 1A, since it's only on the Camelot wheel, it's just one above, uh, so those are harmonically compatible. And let's just check it out with a different track real quick. So this track has a track key of 8A. If we sync it, it'll shift it down one semitone and the new track will be 1A which is spot on compatible with 1A as well. In addition you can also 
if you want to change after you sync the tracks, you can go up the scale and that'll sync them both. As you'll notice, the key is shifting on both decks. Uh, when I have them key synced and I shift it down plus or minus uh, semitones. And that's all there really is to it for key syncing. Lastly, let's take a look at hardware remapping my controller, which is going to be a Pioneer DDJ SR. All right, lastly, let's take a look at remapping native controllers in Serato DJ. Now, native controllers being your Pioneer DDJ SR, SXs, the slew of Newmark controllers, things like the, well, what they call the official Serato accessories like the Dicers, the Reloop Neon, the Pioneer DDJ SP1, or the Akai AFX, those cannot be remapped currently. Other limitations include things like channel faders and platters cannot be remapped for obvious reasons. But the majority of all the other buttons, knobs, and sliders can be remapped. So, in order to remap a controller, you need to go into the setup menu, and under MIDI, you'll have your device listed up top. Mine is the Pioneer DDJSR, and you're going to want to check the box right here, Allow Serato Hardware Remapping. So this will allow you to remap buttons or knobs on the controller to other functions. So let's remap the new key sync features to my DDJSR. Let's map the sync button to the sync deck button to the sync button on the controller. So let's click on MIDI first and then click on the music note icon and let's press sync right there. And that's all there is to it. It's just like mapping any other regular MIDI controller. And let's use this button right here to go down, shift down semitones, and we'll use this button over here to shift up semitones. And that's all there really is to it. So now if we press the sync button, you will notice that it engages the sync on the deck for the keys, and we can shift up or down semitones using these buttons right here. And that's all there really is to it. So this is native hardware remapping, and that's going to do it for this video. So this is my first look at the new Serato DJ version 1.8.